Zoom is now integrated with Panopto, so any recording in Zoom where Record to the Cloud has been enabled will automatically be uploaded to the Zoom host's Meeting Recordings folder in Panopto. This folder will automatically be created once you've made your first Zoom Cloud recording and is where all future Zoom recordings will be located by default. All timetable sessions for lectures and seminars have been set to record to the cloud by default and will begin recording as soon as the Zoom session starts and will be available in the host meeting recordings folder. If you as host are creating your own Zoom meetings in addition to timetable sessions, either by scheduling or on the fly, then you should make sure to manually select record to the cloud in Zoom to enable automatic panopto upload in the same way as the timetable sessions. When you end the meeting, you will receive an email from Panopto shortly afterwards to confirm that your recording is now available in Panopto. Please note that you may first receive an email notification from Zoom about your recordings. If you do, please ignore this and wait for the Panopto email. To view your Zoom recordings, either follow the link in the notification email from Panopto or log into Panopto directly. This will load up your personal area in Panopto called My Follower. This has subfolders for all your video and audio recordings held in Panopto. Once you've made your first Zoom recording to the cloud, a subfolder will be located here called Meeting Recordings. Open this to view your Zoom recordings. By default, recordings in the Meeting Recordings folder are private to you, and you will need to move them to the relevant module folder and approve them before they're visible to students. Recordings should be moved or copied into module folders to automatically share them with students enrolled to those modules. You may choose to move the original recording to a module folder if sharing to a single module, or copy to multiple module folders if the videos are needed in multiple modules. Your course's module folders will be available as destinations for selection in the Move and Copy menus, as well as any other subfolders contained in My Folder. The module folders into which you move for your recording are linked to the corresponding courses Panopto block in Moodle. Module folders are created when you provision your Moodle courses Panopto block, so if you don't see a module folder yet for the relevant course, please see our video setting up Panopto in Moodle for guidance on adding the Panopto block and provisioning your course. If, after following these steps, you wish to see what is in your Panopto module folders, you can use the Browse option and search for the module code. Once your recording has been moved to the correct module folder, it will need to be approved. Any recordings that show waiting for approval cannot be seen by students, even if they're in the correct module folder. Recordings have to be approved as the final step before they become visible to students. To approve a video for sharing in its current location, open the settings for the video by clicking on the cog below the thumbnail. In the overview menu, the approval section shows the current status of the video and allows you to approve new videos by clicking approve. If you move a video to a new module folder, you will have to approve it again in the new location. Approval can be denied or rescinded by clicking reject, where you'll be asked for a reason for a rejection. Be aware that the grid view in Panopto does not display the waiting for approval tag on unapproved videos, so you should check the preview image list or detailed list if you need to see which videos are awaiting approval. Once moved and approved, your Zoom recordings will be visible to anyone enrolled on the corresponding module within Moodle. 